much. Tell us what prompted you to open Elimu Community Center. With my vast experience teaching, um, I have always had a desire to serve children beyond the school. So I started an after school program that serves the children's academic excellence to develop them uh, in their math, reading and science. But as well as that, to develop them as a whole child. And so when you talk about developing them as a whole child, tell us more about what exactly is involved in what you call uh, wellness, holistic wellness education. A whole child is not just their intellect, not their, just their academic. A child needs to be physically uh, excellent. They need social, their social development. They need their cultural development. They need to be mentored. They need to be develop their character. They need um, uh, mentors. So um, the program captures everything about a child so that the child is not just academic. So uh, from what I heard from you, from you uh, earlier, as we had a short conversation, is that you started the school basically because you faced a personal family tragedy. And there's so many people uh, outside, or, you know, who come from different parts of the country to the United States, and they want to contribute positively to this country, but face similar challenges. How do you rise up and say, I can still do this? This is not too big. I can still do it. Yes, about 16 years ago, I lost my husband and I was a young mom. I had two young children and that was a big challenge. But I went into myself and decided that I should be able to make it. While I was working as a school teacher in Baltimore City, I decided that I need a purpose. And because I have always loved teaching children and developing excellence in children, I decided that I would rise above that adversity. And that's how I started this center. Uh, talk to us a little more about the children and what's different from the regular schooling and, and with what you do now in Baltimore. Uh, and how many children do you have and what's the feedback you're getting from uh, the education officials there and parents? Yes, so I run an after-school program in Baltimore, Maryland and the children are transported from their schools to the center. I, we serve about 80 children uh, or even more than 80 children. And the feedback from the community and the parents is excellent. Uh, we serve children's needs in terms of even transportation from school. Parents are not able to transport their children to an after school center. So we transported them uh, to the center. We made sure that the children had their homework finished. The children who needed tutoring um, were given that tutoring so that their grades developed. And um, then we had other programs that were physical programs. We had swimming and skating and 